So today I want to talk about a, a couple days ago, um, the game came out and made the comment that on Clubhouse, I believe that not only is he the best Compton rapper of all time, but that he's better and superior to Kendrick Lamar because he says he raised Kendrick Lamar. Uh, do you guys think that J.C. on is a better rapper or technical MC than Kendrick Lamar is? And no. Joshua, wait, 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 okay, wait, 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 Honestly, like, uh, con I mean, when you really think about Kendrick Lamar, he's the like the greatest of this generation. And like, um, game, you know, he's cool and all, but I only could think of like one classic album he had, and God, that was the damn. documentary. So, oh, like, Kendrick got like four classics, in my opinion. You know, I listen to the game, okay? Uh, Slice, so what, what would you say? So, to the game, I say, Are you serious? Um, <laughs> I want to say much worse, but um, because my screen says Slanks and Hughes and not Lyrical Leviathan, I'm not going to go as hard as I as I would. Um, plus, I don't want to get canceled on social media. But um, Oh, my goodness. Um, the greatest Compton rapper? Mm, maybe the wrong G word. Um, but um, first of all, um, the game to me has always been a below average, sometimes on par with average MC. Um, his best work was when he collaborated with Curtis Jackson. And on a lot of those songs, he, he struggled to, to stay up to speed lyrically with 50 Cent at the time. Oh my goodness. Um, wow. A lot That's of a what problem. followed the documentary was very mediocre in my opinion. Um, I, I, would say, I would say the game is... Um, inferior to um say other west coast mcs i would say he's inferior to a yuck mouth um oh, man. oh wow inferior to a yuck mouth inferior to an e40 um sometimes he's kind of like an updated too short but with way less oh, heavy storytelling right. are you are you serious um wow <laughs> yeah and so for him to compare himself to kendrick um I would say to the to the statement that Jay Swan made of Kendrick is the best, greatest of this generation. To that, I might say, "Are you serious?" or "Are you quite sure?" Maybe uh, I think he's in the top five of this generation among his mainstream peers, but um, I wouldn't call him necessarily hands down the greatest. But he is um, one of the best for sure. The game is not in the top ten um, of West Coast MCs. I mean, wow. Are you serious I mean, right now? <laughs> he's nowhere near. He's like Razkaz, Mike Anon, Corrupt. Like, just to name Compton, a few California Comp MC. Compton. I'm, I'm saying he's not in the top Compton. 10 of West Coast. West Coast. He's in terms in of Compton, 10? that's different. He, he's okay. in the, Compton, I'd say, yeah, he's in the top 10 of Compton. Listen, I, I have to, look. Um, in about two but seconds, Kareem. For him to be like, I'm the greatest thing ever come go. out of Compton, I, I, yo. Like, I, Vic, I got I it. mean, does he know who he's from Compton? Like, I got to stop. Are you serious? Come on, man. <laughs> the game annoys me. <laughs> Come on. He can he's annoy he's, he's always been way more, he's always oversold himself. Literally. Listen, the game is, uh, okay. I'm talking so, to the nerd here. Like, for, for, I for, like dope lyricism. Listen, that doesn't equal the listen, game. Listen, from a competitive standpoint, I believe that the game has the right to feel that about himself. He could think that because that's the mindset and mentality you have to have. You guys are MCs, competitive. You know how it is. I don't think that technically he's a superior MC to Kendrick, but to say the game is a step above Too Short, who I think is the one of the only legends who's kind of whack, that's preposterous. <laughs> the game, the game is a gifted, is a gifted songwriter and storyteller. And I rebuke your, I rebuke your notion. I rebuke your notion that he only had one good album, and I don't think he only had one classic. I mean, it's it's possible. That the documentary was definitely a classic. I don't think anybody could argue that. Are you going to argue that, Slikester? It was a classic record. Um, Slikester. Slikester. Come on. Be serious. It was a classic yeah, hey. record, but not necessarily because okay. of the game solely. Listen. We're talking about the Dr. Dre production and then the 50 Cent guy. The Doctor's Advocate was also a great album. And then if you heard the documentary, too, the documentary, too, was a phenomenal masterpiece, in my opinion. 
Did you hear the documentary? I think there were, think there were strong efforts, but I won't call them wow. like bonus. Was a ma- I wouldn't say it was a classic, but it was a masterpiece. And so I think it's he's comparable to Kendrick as far as his songwriting and, and song right. making ability. I don't think that I, I don't think that K- Kendrick's albums totally just blow everything the game did out of the water. I think it's a lot closer than what you guys say. Technical rapping, I had to really study. Kendrick Lamar to pick up another level of my own lyricism and the way he puts his words together, the rhymonomics. I never had to study the game. He has some solid punchlines. He has a solid delivery. I think he's good, but I don't think he's on the level of Kendrick Lamar as far as just rapping. Yeah. But as far as album making and, and song, well, come on, come on, Vic. You make it seem like the game is trash or he's something like that. Yeah, you know? like he's garbage or something. No, like, no, no, come no, on, no, man. no. Like, come on, like, like, come on. You're better than this. I mean, my assessment is very similar to yours. It's just I verbalized the final answer a little different. Yeah, like, but, yeah, but you, and you shit like, it on you, the guy. You shit it on JCR. I don't appreciate but, it. I had, the um, documentary, too, was good. It was good. It was good. Even musically, the way they brought them together, they blended the songs together. They mixed a, they had a, a Brandy sample. It was a Biggie flow he used. The way the, And then the, the song with Primo and Dre did, or the actual documentary, see the title cut, you would love. It's something you would want to rhyme over. So what I are you do talking love about? That. I'm not talking about the beats. I'm not talking about the arrangements. I'm not even talking about the songwriting. I'm talking about strictly the game's in seamanship. Is 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 very much below what he always tries to sell himself as doing without lyrically proving it. Like if you if you deconstruct a game verse and a game song, it's usually gonna be I've been through some hard stuff. Here are some punchlines. Cats in the industry hated on me. Slight dab for fifty cent, and I'm a blood. I'm a blood. I'm a blood. It doesn't innovate beyond that, quite honestly. All right, all right. All right. Like, give me more. If you're gonna compare him, Kendrick. To, to just things Kendrick has done on like Temple Butterfly, like the way he's approached a song, like a novel. Like, come on, the guy went up on Postler. Like, what are you Kendrick does have the at game least here, classic man. albums. I'll give you that. Uh, Good Kid, Bad City, and the Pimple Butterfly are definitely classics, but the documentary one was definitely a classic for sure. And some right. of those songs are but classic. not necessarily driven by the game as the engine to why it was that good. Okay, he All played right. his role, sure. He Robert Ori, he Robert Ori the joint. Oh man, you know what I mean? <laughs> Get the open shots when he Come needed on. to, but he was not. The offense was not being run through him. On Let's hear from Swan right now. Swan, what what would you say about this? Man, you gotta give game his props. Like I, you said two, you said uh, two classes, right, uh, Kareem? I huh? probably I at least one. I mean, I, I think. Why. I think the other they they were great albums. They were they were great albums. I'm not saying they were classics. The documentary was a classic, hands down. The documentary too was great. It doesn't have the status of being a classic, but from a from a standpoint of technically putting the record together, it's up there. It could compete with some of Lamar's records. I'm not saying it's better because right. the Pippa Butterfly should be in the museum somewhere. But yeah. it was a dope album, especially with the yeah. way hip hop is now. The documentary too ranks very very high for me. Oh man, and yeah, like, if you compare it to if, today's scale, ooh. good grief. If you like it, you gotta give game his props, man. He has a his catalog is pretty good. Like, if you really think about it, it's really good. Like, um, I don't know what was the last joint he dropped, but um, I think it was like his last uh album that came out probably like a year or two or so ago, but uh it was good. And if you really pay attention to it, like he was the best overall artist in G Unit. So like if you want For the week that he was in the group. <laughs> That's all it took. I'm trying to bore an ass niggas. <laughs> right. I mean, so, who are we comparing him to? And like today at what I was when I was born. A black man. <laughs> Your racism bounces off me, I'm bulletproof. Your prejudice gets deflected, I'm bulletproof. Your hatred can't penetrate me, I'm bulletproof. My mind's